setting up at least a decent amount. So if you notice here, I'm showing up my Rasa 8, Rasa 8, which is my first Rasa 8. I put it on top of the uh, mount here. I always did the imaging with Rasa 11. So any comets, anything that you saw, asteroids, all of them were taken with Rasa 11. But Rasa 8 is not that kind of a telescope. It's still F2, but it's more wide field. So if you wanted to take a wide field photography, I think this is probably the best. And also this will do more of a one shot color, like, you know, the not the monochrome, but mostly one shot color pictures. It's perfect for that one. You can still do monochrome with that one too. So the cameras, the ZWO cameras, are actually the perfect match for the Rasa 8. And uh, here you see my ZWO 533. And then you see my uh, Star Arizona filter slider that is uh, built specific for Rasa 8. So once you have this combination, uh, pretty much it is a plug and play. You have nothing really going on there. All you are doing is uh, they give you this female version of the Star Arizona Rasa 8 filter slider and you will actually remove the 11 mm adapter there on the 533 and uh, 533 has a male M42 threads and pretty much you are plugging this into the Rasa 8. So now the telescope and the camera are ready to go. Uh, see if I can focus on the cell phone tower and that did not work. So I have to put a five millimeter adapter between the Celestron adapter, you know, the one that comes with the Rasa 8 and then the Star Arizona filter slider. Uh, there is a five mm adapter that I need to put in order to get the focus. But once I put the focus that started working, I was able to look at it and there are like a couple of stars that I saw behind the cell phone tower and I was able to focus them. And once I started or once I was able to actually pinpoint that focus, the other thing that I did is I tried to align my red dot finder on the Rasa 8 to make sure that it is going to point to the middle of the cell phone tower. I moved to the focusing Jupiter and Jupiter planets. I think that came out rather perfect. So I was uh, quite happy that I was able to see, uh, you know, the stars, the planets, the way I wanted in Rasa 8. And then I took the mount to uh, Polaris. And I need to do the polar alignment. Usually I do with the main telescope and the main camera. But with this mount and with this telescope, that's not going to work for me. So I have to have the pole master camera. So I turned the camera from the main camera to the pole master camera. And once I saw the pole master camera working good, I didn't see when I tried to like go to tools, polar align, it's not showing me that it is able to, you see in the bottom of the frame, it says like could not resolve. So I figured out my mount is not even anywhere near Polaris. So I manually moved the mount to get to a place where it can actually see the Polaris. And once it started seeing the Polaris there on the screen, I clicked on the next and access movement is complete. I was able to uh, look at the polar alignment error, fix the uh, altitude and azimuth knobs on the, on the mount. I was able to get it aligned. Polar alignment with pole master, 
and sharp cap is actually a breeze i did not use the 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 pole master software i just used the sharp cap software for polar alignment so i got it near perfect uh, to get it going i started working on the mount i used one of the stars to do star alignment i went ahead and checked the sequence generator pro i set up the camera at the 533 camera with the image scale so i put my resolution which is only 3008 by 3008 for that camera i set up the plate solving software i created a sequence called andromeda here and then i used my hobim tcs mount I connected to the mount, went ahead and added Andromeda Galaxy into the Sequence Generator Pro. I took my first shot. It came out good and I started working on focus. Uh, I need to make a smaller adjustments on the focus. And also after going back and forth, I ended up setting like 10 exposures and I set up like 1000 exposures to repeat so I was able to complete I think I must have spent like three hours and completed taking pictures last night I think the first light with Rasa 8 I would say is very successful so I wanted to try the Andromeda Galaxy using this one if I take any pictures with this one I'll show you my sightings thank you